we're looking at the Black Ops 6 launch trailer again, and we're going to try to find some hidden details or some things you might have missed. And this is going to be an open discussion. I'm not going to pretend like I know every goddamn thing Call of Duty because I do not. But I'm going to try to point out what I find, what seems interesting to me. And then you guys can tell me in the comments what I didn't find and what you thought was interesting. So when we start off the video, we have somebody slamming a piece of paper. It looks like he's probably part of the CIA as well, but he might be like a high ranking government official of the CIA. He slams this classified paper down to Frank Woods and Troy Marshall, who is basically his apprentice, like I guess the new Frank Woods. We see Troy and Frank Woods give each other a look as if something's wrong, like maybe they believe that this CIA guy or somebody is hiding something. We also have a little news article here that says the Cold War is coming to an end. And this is real life events going on. President Bush and Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev meet in Washington, D.C., basically to wrap up the Cold War, to bring it to an end. So we're moving on from that. We get a gorgeous shot of Washington, D.C. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks very realistic. We get a shot of some officers heading to the White House. And it looks like Pantheon, which is the new faction, the new villains of Black Ops 6, were infiltrating this fundraiser and basically raising hell and killing people. Here in this blockbuster event of the year graphic that we have up to the left, it says, do not trust your eyes. Suicide, the murder. De muerte, not do muerto. I don't know what language that is, but it's talking about maybe not trusting what we see, right? And that's a big theme for Black Ops 6. And it's very, very interesting that they're saying don't trust your eyes. And so that can mean so many things. It could mean that characters we may think are dead aren't dead. It could mean people that we trust in this game we shouldn't trust. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. We get to see Russell Adler right there. Got his smokes, got a little glasses, looking fresh. We get to see Adler and Troy Marshall here working together. Not exactly sure where, maybe some part of the Middle East. Some sort of heist going on here as well. We get to see this shot here is Russell Adler, maybe when we finally find him. And this one is really interesting to me in particular because we basically get to see Jane Harrow. And Jane Harrow, as we know, is part of the CIA and she might be like this chief of station, almost like a Kate Laswell if you compare it to the Modern Warfare series. She may be after Frank Woods, Russell Adler, Troy Marshall, and she may be on the hunt for them. So I am very intrigued on seeing her, learning more about her, and really seeing what overall impact she has on the story because I think it's going to be pretty damn big. It makes it seem almost like she's talking to a Russell Adler in this trailer, but I don't know that she is. We don't know we fully if she's a villain or if she's going to be a protagonist. We see Pantheon. This big thing here seems like a laboratory, like a lab where Pantheon is working on some sort of chemical weapon. Um something like that that's what that looks like to me is maybe like a command center or a place that we got to destroy and i think that's going to play a very big part in what pantheon is doing what they're hiding and what they mean by the truth lies i think this may be leading us to a lot of answers we get to see troy marshall here very up close and personal he looks a little gritty a little bit older and he's watching something on the tv he's seeing something and now what kind of gets me here is that for the most part this looks like a story trailer but then it cuts into to some sort of zombie, right? We get to see a zombie as we go into the painting of Saddam Hussein in his palace. And then it cuts to December 29th of 1990. It's a video recording of somebody maybe conducting an experiment and the person inside of the experiment is kind of going crazy. It looks like he's banging against the wall, some sort of crazy patient. We don't know who he is. We don't have any information on that whatsoever. But it looks like Frank Woods is watching this footage alongside potentially Savari Dumas. It could be her. I'm not exactly sure who this character is that is right there next to Woods. She's probably part of some CIA or maybe an old friend of Woods, but they're watching this footage together. We also see that during this footage, Troy Marshall gets angry and he slams the projector to the ground. So what the hell does that mean? Does that mean that we're going to see some sort of zombie evolution within the campaign? Is that going to play a part in the story? That is very interesting. However, this is a launch trailer. So it could be that it's just showing us a little bit of zombies, a little bit of the campaign, and a little bit maybe of multiplayer that we didn't realize. It may be showing us a little bit of everything. So we can't jump to conclusions yet. However, it would be extremely interesting. But I don't know that I would like if they actually incorporated some sort of zombie element, some sort of zombie talk in the actual campaign, because that just opens a door to something else. And, you know, the, sh the series can get very unrealistic at times. And I don't know that I want that for campaign. I, I like that it they try to keep at least campaign campaign and zombies separate but is there potential that they could this year incorporate zombies into the actual story campaign and if they do would you like to see that i personally would not here we get another shot of troy marshall and potentially russell adler yep working together 
Russell Adler pulling up on somebody with a Glocky. Oh, oh shit. We, it's actually Russell Adler and Troy Marshall fighting. And it looks like that was Jane Harrow. Okay, okay. So yeah, let's look at this again. You see, I'm watching in real time. So Russell Adler pulls out with the Glocky. Troy Marshall grabs him all bloodied up in the desert and is fighting against him. Russell Adler gets the upper hand, is whooping his ass, and then Troy grabs him. And that looks like it's Jane Harrow, the CIA chief of station, and she's beating the shit out of Adler with Troy. Okay, so that's very interesting, right? Is that before he was captured? If the, Is that after we save him? At what point in the story is that and why are they fighting, right? That could mean that Adler maybe is the mole. That could mean that they turned on Adler. So many cool details, so many cool things there. And we get to see a little bit of that there. Jane Harrow, another shot of Jane Harrow here in some sort of destruction in the desert. We get to see Frank Woods. It looks like he might be in a helicopter here, kind of debating or reeling on, on the events that just happened. We get to see a logo of Pantheon as well again. And then we get to see somebody falling. At first, I thought this was like a hurricane or a cyclone because he's kind of dangling from the air. But I don't know what this is. It looks like something in the air is pulling them up. This could be multiplayer. This could be zombies this could be campaign i don't know what this is but this doesn't look very realistic and whoever's falling if they don't have a parachute they're gonna freaking die it looks like maybe a female the hand looks kind of thin it might be a female character i'm not too sure and then we see frank woods in action legs or no legs kneecaps or no kneecaps it looks like some sort of soldiers are coming in maybe some cia to apprehend him but he's fighting back full throttle with a shoddy and he's not holding back so we're gonna get to see what happens there but it's very interesting to note that it looks like there's some sort of army guys that are pulling up on him we get to see the chase scene again in dc that we've seen in more depth already in multiple gameplay trailers we get to see Troy Marshall again fighting here, uh, but this could be multiplayer, not too sure. Then we see Adler looking fresh and young, grabs some sort of pilot and is putting his face near a blade. I'm not sure who that could be, but that's basically where the trailer ends. So we get to go a little bit deeper together and we try to find all these things and kind of talk about what's going on. I guess this wasn't necessarily a hidden details as I didn't point too many things out. This is my first time attempting something like this. I just wanted to talk in a casual manner of things that we might have missed, right? So if there's anything that you guys want to point out, please do so in the comments and let's start a conversation. <laughs>